Florida police are now investigating a case of extreme bullying online. It all began after an 11 year old girl posted videos on YouTube. Her family says they sparked a nightmare of pranks and death threats. Police are now looking into what they say could amount to a cyber stalking case. Andrew Canning spoke with the family in a GMA exclusive. Okay. Jesse Slaughter's jaw-dropping like YouTube videos are so me. controversial. You know I'll pop a Glock in your mouth and make a brain slushy. They've made okay. her the victim of death threats at just 11 years old. You know what? To say that you guys have ruined my life. No, I would never think it would get to this point. Now okay. speaking only to GMA with her parents, Jean and Diane, it's the first time the seventh grader has been out in public since her videos ignited a firestorm. I will post some in the bar. Why so much profanity in the videos? It's just, I had no words running through my mind. It was all done live, and that was just a way to get out my anger. Slaughter says she turned her webcam into a weapon in retaliation over online postings about her alleged sexual history. And if you guys d consider and freaking like label me, then you guys are the actual posers, and I'm not a poser. Not helping matters, her father joined in with a tirade of his own. This is from her father. You bunch of lying, no good punks. And I know who it's coming from because I backtraced it. As a father, I was just trying to support my daughter and get people to stop hating. Their retaliation, now seen by more than a million viewers, only made the taunting worse, taking cyberbullying to a whole new level. When this first started, we were very afraid. I've been getting a lot of death threats. Online people accused me of molesting my daughter. Slaughter says she was sent to a mental health facility after the authorities believed she might be suicidal. She says she isn't, but can see how a tween could be pushed over the edge. I think that it's completely wrong that people would taunt somebody to some degree that they would actually kill themselves over it. And that's actually completely wrong and whoever is doing it should be locked away for a really long time over it. Now Jessie Slaughter, which is actually her screen name, is about to enter counseling. But these viral videos may just end up haunting her forever. For Good Morning America, Andrea Canning, ABC News, Palm Coast, Florida. And again, she was using her screen name, not her real name. Joining us now to talk about what parents and families can do to deal with extreme cyberbullying, we have our internet security expert, Perry Aftap, joining us from, looks like you're in San Francisco this morning. Good to see you, Perry. And family I therapist. I am always good to see you, too. Great. And family therapist, Terry Real, is here with us in the studio. Where do we begin? Oh, with, man, what with a this? case. What a case. It's this amazing. And, and Perry, I know that you have spent a lot of time looking into this, but this just seems so out of control. Well, I run StopCyberBullying.org, as you know, Robin, and the internet safety charity, Wired Safety. And a lot of kids are frustrated, and their parents are frustrated, so they don't know what to do. And sometimes you get things like this. But when you do this, you're the next cyberbully. So mm -hmm. what we need to do is teach parents what to do and teach kids what to do when it happens. Well, let's teach parents right now what to do, because you saw her father, this little 11-year-old's father, on video too, screaming, her, his daughter is, is crying. Tell us the proper way to respond to cyberbullying. Absolutely. Stop, block, and tell. You teach your kids to stop and not answer back, not reply, not post anything online. Uh, to block the person or the message and to tell a trusted adult. Then the adults have to be trustworthy. And we teach them both, adults and kids, to take five. Put down the mouse for five minutes and do something that will help you regain balance and perspective. At some point, we need to have an adult in charge. Yeah, we do. Well, Terry, I know you're, you're, you're sitting over here just wanting to, oh my to weigh in. Yeah. I mean, this is about violence breeding violence. You know, the whole culture of kids, and I know it's been said before, but rap music, the way she speaks about putting a Glock in somebody's mouth. Mm -hmm. it's, it's about retaliation, breeding retaliation on, on all sides, but the whole thing just gets so blown up because of the Internet. Well, tell us how this can affect, you know, she's 11 years old, 11 years old. we've seen teens um, that are doing this too. The effect that it has on them, because the internet, you can be anonymous. That's the go point. People. You know, it's a, it's a double-edged sword because the victim has no privacy and the bully can be anonymous. So uh, it blows up on both sides. You have kids posting things on Facebook that they shouldn't be posting. Uh, and then you have uh, thousands of people responding. Just the sheer weight of the number 
is, mm -hmm. a, is a trauma to the kid. We heard at the end of Andrea's piece that this young girl is going to get some counseling, which is good to hear. What advice do you have for her and her parents? Well, first of all, prevention is worth a pound of cure. There are programs uh, to uh, mind what your kid is, is watching. Take a look at the kid's history on the computer. Talk to your child about it. As, uh, as was said, uh, there's always uh, unplugging the thing and putting it down, but help your kid not get involved with this thing to begin with. Talk to them mm -hmm. and supervise. Yeah, as Perry was saying, that's going to a responsible adult, adult involved in this. And, and Perry, I, this young girl was using a, a site that I wasn't even familiar with, Stick'em or something like that. But you said Stick, it's, not, you know, it's, it's not so much the site you're saying the parents should be concerned about. It's not. Stick'em is not terribly popular. It never gained ground. So it's not the site. It's what the kids are doing on it. Right. And at 11, she's not allowed to use any of those sites if you read the terms of service. This didn't happen on Facebook. And Facebook has a really good watch on these things. What you need to do is when it happens, parents need to report it to law enforcement. If they're threats, they need to report it to the site. And if they need help, they need to come to wiredsafety.org where my volunteers can help them handle what's going on. But bottom line, don't overreact. Don't try to take it into your own hands and make sure you know what your kids are doing online and how to make sure they're a little safer. No, uh, you are doing just such phenomenal work as always, Perry. Thank you. And Terry, what's your bottom line? Bottom line is uh, I'm great. It's great that this kid is getting some counseling. It's great that the, the parents are supporting her. Uh, this is a trauma and it needs to be taken seriously. All right, Terry, good to have you here with us. Enjoy you. your day in San Francisco, Perry. Thanks again. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Robert. For your excellent work. And for advice on what age to start talking to your children about cyberbullying and more tips about having that conversation, which you so desperately need to have, go to our website, abcnews.com slash GMA.